What's up guys? Ah, son. Um, my name is Alexis and I kind of, I'm just gonna start a channel. I don't really know how that goes. Um, and I tend to ramble a lot when I don't know what I want to say. So, um, yeah, and I wasn't sure exactly what I should talk about for my first video. So I thought I would just talk about my plants and my pets. Um, they're super cute. This is Max over here. Maxie, hey, Maxie baby. Where uh, is it? Oh, oh, there's, oh, there's her. She's needy. Ha. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Basically, I have two rad dogs. Max, right there. Um. I got him. From a friend when I was in high school I don't I think it was in 2012 um, she couldn't take care of him anymore he was six months old he's a German Shepherd pit and I was like yo he's the cutest thing ever I gotta have him plus I really wanted a dog um, I hadn't had one in years since mine had passed away um, and yeah so that's Max um, this is Hera we got her November 18th of 2016 Hi, Mama. We rescued her, um, ouch, or adopted her from Paws. Oh, she likes to jump up on me. We're still working on that. Um, we adopted her from Paws in Linwood. Um, and yeah, she's super cute. And actually, day, the day before we got her, I went and adopted Zaba. I don't know if you can see him. Where are you at, Zabs? Right there. Yep, he's chilling there on his little perch. He's looking in the mirror. Um, he is a nutmeg finch. I think they also go by like spice finch or something like that. Um, yeah, his cage is decked out. He's got like a little jungle in there. Um, he's up on the bed right now because they like sunlight and I don't know, but it just gets better sunlight on the beds than on the floor. So he's there. This is our guest room slash plant bird room. Um, yeah, so nothing like super crazy. Just kind of chill, you know, got my dogs. Um, Hera, um, that we just got this last year in 2016, a few months ago, um, she's like a year and a half. She came from Texas like the week before we got her. Um, so it took her a little while to adjust to like the weather and she still gets really cold. I need to buy her like a sweater Ugh, But I don't like Any of the ones that I've found so far Max. He's our big like timid guy. He just is so chill. He's like Sometimes Hera just tries to play with him and he's like yo leave me alone. You are too crazy um, And he's like four um and so here's my plants. This plant I actually got in Utah when we went in August. It's kind of hard to see with the sun. Maybe I'll cover it with my hair. So this one, and it's kind of like pokey, but it's fuzzy. Um, we went to Utah, and I love cacti, so I was like, yo, I need to find one that's like one of those prickly ones. Down, please. Down. And I found one, and I brought it home. <laughs> ah, down. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Yeah, so that's that cacti, there or cactus. Um, lots of plants up here. So this one is my lemon tree. I started it, I think two summers ago. I don't remember. From a seed, from a lemon that I bought, and I just wanted to give it a try. I knew that you could do it. Um, this one down here, this one avocado tree. That under there was an avocado tree. The leaves started to fall off and then Hera kind of chewed on the like trunk kind of um, so that one's just kind of done but this one we're gonna try and save <laughs> maybe um, this one is my little rubber like thickest I think it is they're like so awesome and I know that if they get really good sunlight they can grow like super tall like I saw one on Pinterest and I was like oh that thing is beautiful I wish mine would grow that big maybe someday one day but it does keep growing new leaves so I don't know. It's really neat. I like it. I broke this one like the other day. It was real sad. Um, aloe vera. I love it. Whenever I get burnt, I just come and like peel the. One's coming off. I just kind of peel the leaves um, and rub it on my burns. 
It's real nice. Um, this one, also just another aloe vera. This cactus actually was um, Edgar's grandpa's cactus that um, we went to visit his grandparents in Utah. And they had that one, and I think maybe another one. And I was just like, oh my god, I'm in love with plants and cacti. And they were like, oh, surprise, here you go, you can have this one. And I think they sent it home with his brother or something who left after we did. Um, all of these ones here, I had plants that I, I had succulents that I got from like Home Depot. And for some reason, whenever I bring succulents home, they like start to die. And I get real sad. But I try to save them. I do the best I can. It doesn't always work out, but I did like pick the leaves off of one of them and like propagated them. So these all used to be just a leaf that was on another plant. These ones are so cute. They're like the burrow's tail, um, the donkey tail. And there was like three or four and I made even like a little macrame like net thing so it could hang from the ceiling and it was so cute and then it started to die and so I just picked the, picked the little things off and those are the ones that started growing and they're like doing really well and I love this one because it's doing good this was one that I did buy from the store and it didn't die it started to lose leaves at the bottom but I picked them off and they like it just did fine um but I like to turn it because it I mean, I think you probably should turn it if you want it to grow straight up because it leans towards the window because there's light out there, the sun is out there. Um, this one had like a twin brother. This little knobby didn't used to be there. Um, it like grew in the sunlight and so that's how the other one was also. Um, and yeah, this is my little watering can that I got from Valley Village, so cute. But yeah, basically, I just really like plants. Um, I did do a vegetable garden this last summer. The first time that I ever did one. My mom is, you know, she's done several of them. Um, but I, going back to school for landscape design. And I just really like plants and gardening. And I think it's important to spread the message about, like, organic and local produce um, so I want to be able to have as much of my own as I can that I can supply to myself and even give to like friends and family if I want to or can um, so I'm kind of stoked to do like a garden this year I'm gonna like kind of try and design it our backyard is still set up kind of how it was when my mom had her daycare so there's like big toys and stuff back there that need to be, um, I don't know, like taken to the dump. I hate when things go to the dump just because ugh, it just goes to a landfill and I don't like that. But basically, yeah, that's kind of where we're headed with that. I need to get rid of the toys and things that are in the backyard and yeah, and then I can set up my garden and design it. Max is so cute. He's always so curious about Zava. He's like, yo, what the hell is in there? That's like a wild animal you got in this house. Like, girl, he's always looking. Sometimes he'll try and, like, bark <laughs> at him. Oh, and I'm like, Max, that's your brother. <laughs> and he's older than you. He's five, and you're only four. You can't be mean to him. He's tripping. He doesn't always trip. But yeah, so, I don't know, super random ramble video. Just talking about my plants, talking about my dogs, my bird. Um, yeah, I just wasn't sure where to start, so I thought maybe that's a good one. I really didn't want to edit this, so I hope it wasn't too rambly. <laughs> but yeah, I should be back. Um, maybe just do more videos, I'll do Maybe my makeup next time. I don't really wear a lot of makeup, but I don't have to, so I don't. Um, yeah, so say goodbye, little puppers and little bird and my beautiful plants. All right, yeah, um, see you next time.